Nothing not to love. We just thought we saw a brown recluse spider mm -hmm. uh, outside of my home. Get the photo up that I posted, and it's not a brown recluse. It is a southern house spider, but we didn't know. We didn't know. Common mistake. Common mistake. And, of course, you put something like that up on Twitter. And, uh, you know, I don't know why when I do something like that, I think I'm going to get, like, an entomologist who's like, actually, it's just people responding, you're a fat recluse. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not particularly helpful in this situation. But it is a male kukulkania. Ku, it is a southern house spider. Thank you, someone in a Facebook spider group with emotional problems. <laughs> just just classifying spiders anytime, day or night. Just a happy person. A lot of people, you know, they're all, these brown recluse spiders are all over Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. And it is a big, you know... Thing. There was actually a big lawsuit because a guy, a caretaker at an Airbnb was bit by a brown recluse, spent 75 days in a hospital, uh, spent $600,000 on medical expenses. It wound all the way up. Uh, the case went to the Texas Supreme Court, and then eventually they sided with the homeowner. Let's take a listen. <laughs> The news, okay. Let's take a listen. It's the spider bite lawsuit. Why am I leaving here? I don't know. It's the lawsuit about the spider bite that went to the Supreme Court. I think the legal battle. Spider bite in the hill country has turned into a lengthy legal battle between two men. Look at this the guy. Can we get out of here, Texas please? <laughs> Keep. Look at this. I mean, this guy. He likes spiders to bite him. He can only come if spiders are biting him. He has a hooker, take a brown recluse, and, and it bites him. And that's how he can come. All right, anyway, continue this. I'm sure he's a lovely man. To Supreme Court. KXAN's Alex Capriello shows us why this case has been so hard for the courts to resolve. And we want to warn you, some of the images you are about to see may be considered graphic. It was a cold day in December. 65-year-old Henry McCall, a caretaker at an Airbnb property Please in start Fredericksburg, that again. reached okay. under the sink. Please picture. start. This is like they're see, shooting it maybe. to be like like very dramatic. Mm. He's like, some of the images are disturbing because they're of poor people. Now, some I want to give you fair warning. Some of the images are disturbing because they are of people who clean houses for a living. He considered graphic. It was a cold day in December. 65-year-old Henry McCall, a caretaker at an Airbnb property in Fredericksburg, reached Stop under the sink to fix I a love leak it's like, when he felt uh, the It was a cold day in December. Uh, a 97-year-old caretaker, like the guy's 65, and he's a caretaker. I feel horrible. <laughs> what does that even mean, caretaker of an Airbnb, by the way? That's like a term that's used. That was like Jack Torrance in The Shining. He's a caretaker of an Airbnb. The guy's 65 years old. And he's just, I think, attacked by brown recluses, but. The prick on his arm. I got bit by a brown recluse spider bite. The highly poisonous spider caused McCall's arm to bruise and swell. There he it is. He spent 75 days in the hospital, underwent six surgeries, and spent nearly $600,000 on hospital bills. But for the grace of God, you know, uh, I'm still here. And I'm. And he goes, and I'm not he getting vaccinated. He blames the property owner, Homer Hillis, for his suffering, saying he should be liable since he didn't warn him of the possible danger in his B&B. Attorneys tell us he normally wouldn't be since those animals are native to the land. Similar legal cases regarding indigenous animal biting and attacking people have all taken place outdoors. So now the Texas Supreme Court judges will hear both sides on whether or not a landowner has a duty to protect the people on their property if that bite happens indoors. McCall claims Hillis knew about the infestation. McCall says he saw a full-size mattress and frame at the home crawling with spiders. But Leaf. Hillis claims he had an exterminator come and take care of the property several times. He also mentions his stellar online reviews, which never mention an insect problem. Hillis also points out 
any judgment that makes him is liable that an will be detrimental by the way? for anyone who operates. That looks like a prison. That's true. It's a property that. in the hill. Take a look at that. Prop. That's an Airbnb. That looks like a like a youth detention facility. That's an Airbnb. <laughs> that can't be it. Who in God's that's it? <laughs> that Who in it, God's name is paying money to stay in that Airbnb by the side of the highway with this poor elderly caretaker? I mean, and the Texas Supreme Court tells the guy to go fuck himself, oh, which really? I love. Yeah. yeah, they go, hey, the spiders were here before you, sir. Should we finish this? Yeah, of course. Hillis also points out any judgment that makes him liable will be detrimental for anyone who operates a property in the Hill Country. Hopefully, it will bring about some regulation to exterminate for bed bugs, for scorpions, for brown recluse spiders and black widow spiders. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. We reached out to the Airbnb owner, Homer Hillis, as well as his lawyer. They chose not to comment until the Texas Supreme Court makes their decision. Homer Hillis. The judges will hear both arguments. The Airbnb owner, Homer Hillis. My name is Homer Hillis. I run an Airbnb, and there are some spiders in there, but they're native to the land. And my caretaker, who's 115 years old, Ended up getting bit, and he had to spend 75 days. In a, by the way, can you, like, look at that? That is not what should be done at, like, a hospital. That that stitching looks like it was done by a child. What? Thank, I pray I don't need any medical attention in this state ever. I pray to God I don't need to go to a hospital here. Look at that. It looks like a witch did it. My name is Homer Hillis. I run a youth detention center that I also use as an Airbnb. And there's there's black widows and brown recluses in every room. And my caretaker was near killed. And he sued me, Homer Hillis. God.